Yeah, that's gonna work. Joy, where's... Julie. Yes. She's in her dressing room. She should be right out. Oh, by the way, Sid Delaney called. He and his partner are on the way over. Sid Delaney. Oh, you do go way back. Huh? Yeah, he gave me my first break. It was the tail end of vaudeville. It was a big headliner. And I was just a kid with a joke and a drink. <laughs> so is he a comedian, too? Delaney and Dimples, they were partners. Dewey Dimples. They used to pack him in every night. Mm -hmm. Then Dewey died, and Sid hasn't worked in years. Well, you're a very nice man for booking him and his new partner on the show. What nice? You look out for each other, that's all. That's Lady Liberty. Carry her bust with pride. <laughs> Joy! Hi. Have you seen the... Um... Accompanist? Yes. Oh, he should be coming in right about now. Uh, good morning. Hi. Uh, how did you know... It's a gift. Any other members of the family? <laughs> oh, no, just me. My brother's an orthodontist with no special talents. I'm lovely to look at, delightful to know, and heaven to kiss. Good morning, Dickie. Notice anything new? Uh, the blazer. Mm-hmm. Mr. Mort of Sioux City. Oh. Designed especially for my new news update segment. See, from now on, we're breaking in whenever news happens. Really? Congratulations. Thanks. You haven't heard any news, have you? <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, that's all right. I'll just take a little walk, see if I can scare up an accident or something, huh? <laughs> just kidding. You've got the clear, cool eyes of a seeker of wisdom. Well, maybe we can get to work. If you'd care to uh, start at the top. <clears throat> Great, but do you think you could put it in a lower key? I only play an E flat. I told him that. Nothing but E flat. Oh, uh, wait, I am. Come back, I can do E flat. Twilly, I'm never going to find an accompanist. What am I going to do? Pack. I might be so bold. I think the Bob Nevin Orchestra would be perfect for this number, and Bob's always available. That good, huh? Willie, what choice do we have? Could you set up an appointment so I could have a listen? Oh, right away. Oh, that's beautiful. That's terrific. Who's in charge around here? No dressing room? No trailer? Hey, listen, pal, just because I'm not a headliner anymore doesn't mean you can treat me like I'm nobody. Sid. Oh, Joe said me. I always get my own dressing room. Julie, meet Sid Delaney. Hello. Pleased to meet you. You got your own dressing room? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, sort of. Good. I'll take yours. Come back, Sid. We're working out. Gotcha! Ready? Boy. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Delaney, it is a pleasure to meet oh. you. I've heard so much about you. Oh, likewise. Uh, so, uh, when do I get to meet the new partner? Oh, Lowell. Well, he's a little shy. He's just a kid. Youth appeal. I like it. I wish Dimples was still alive to see us working together again. I wish Dimples was still alive. Mm. He was such a sweet guy. Uh, what happened? Yeah, his ticker. Oh. We were on stage breaking in some new material. And all of a sudden, he, he started to perspire. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then he gets this funny feeling in his stomach. And a sharp pain in his, in, in his, in his left arm. And, and I said to him, are you all, are you all okay? He says, I'm, I'm gone, buddy. Oh. oh. Is he the best? It does seem real. Oh. All right, the lady. Come on. Get up. Uh. And up at the gotchas. Come on. Uh. Uh. Wooly, uh, I'm, I'm not sure uh, it's a gotcha. Uh, Mr. Delaney, are, are you all right? Oh, God. Oh, uh, Joy! 911, I've got them on the line. It's going to be all right, Delaney. Oh, oh, somebody get Lowell. He can't be left alone. All right, the kid. The kid, get the kid, Judy. Uh, where, where is the kid? He's out in the hall. Wooly, Wooly, promise me you'll take care of him. No huh? problem, I promise. I mean, he's the only family I got. I hear you, pal. I mean, uh, he can't, please. Don't leave him alone ever. It scares him. He will be with me day and night. And, and his diet, Willie. His diet is very special. Yeah. He like, he like, but, he like, uh, he like, uh, uh, what, what does he like? What? 
I'd say bananas. <laughs> That's Lowell. That's Lowell. Thank you. Thank you very much. They're running some tests at the hospital on Mr. Delaney. We'll know more tomorrow. I'm going down in the morning. I want to be with him. Molly, what are we going to do with Lowell? I don't know what to do with him. You're the animal doctor. Well, he can't stay here. Why not, Dad? Yeah, why not, Dad? <laughs> because he's not a house pet. Ah, yeah, but he is, Sam. Lowell's never lived in anything but a house. Not our house, I hope. Well, I was just I... thinking that you... Tea. What do you think I could get for Lowell? Fruits, vegetables. Especially leeches. They love leeches. He won't play with any of his toys. He's probably devastated about Mr. Delaney. He's just like a little boy who misses his father, aren't you, Lowell? <laughs> yes, yeah, see? These animals have a lot of human characteristics, but in fact, they are not human. Are you, Lowell? <laughs> Get me talking to him. <laughs> well, I think he understands every word we're saying. <laughs> but what do I know? He does have lovely, soulful eyes, though, doesn't he? Oh, come on. Please don't make me the heavy guys. Orangutans require a lot of care. They can get colds and they can give us colds. I don't even know if he's had his flu shots. So here's the plan. I'll take him over to the clinic and he'll stay there until Delaney's well enough to get back on his feet. How's that? No! no. He's just a baby, Dad. That's the point, sweetheart. He can be very mischievous. And who's going to change his diapers? You? <laughs> you? Hmm. Don't look at me. I'm not cleaning up after him. You four monkeys are enough already. Uh, Although, I wouldn't mind uh, monkeying around with you. Oh, that's you, the swinger. <laughs> well, what do you think, Lowell? <laughs> All right. Give me five, seven, whatever you got. Play. <laughs> He's so cool. Come on, Dad. He can sleep with me. No. He's a little smelly, but he can sleep with me. No. Your room already stinks. Forget it. I'm saving myself. <laughs> oh, look, it's late. He can stay here. Yes! But just for tonight. And on the back porch. Dad! Oh, don't all dad me. He'll be fine. Your father is right. Thanks, Wooly. No, thank you, Sam. I'll be at my motel in case you need me. Behave yourself, Lowell. These are good people. Check on the kids, make sure they're not playing with Lowell. into something a little bit more simian. <laughs> Can't we just give him one more chance? Yeah, Dad. Yeah, Dad. Oh. <laughs> We're not getting any sleep. Lowell's not getting any sleep. Well, I slept like a baby. <laughs> believes that Lowell's with a family. I, are you sure we're doing the right thing? Jules, we're doing the right thing for Lowell. Right. Come on, Lowell. Lowell, let's go. Go with Clem. 
Add it. That's a go. good boy. Come on. Oh, you don't want to go. Bye. You know, it's going to snow. He's wearing a warm coat. <laughs> what? You didn't have to kick Lowell out. Excuse me, but I'm a professional. I work with animals every day. Lowell needs boundaries. You know, if he could talk, he'd thank me. Yes, that's what he'd do. He'd thank me. He'd say, Dr. McGuire, wow! Watch out for the banana peel. <laughs> What is this staring thing? How can you eat knowing that Lowell is at the clinic all by himself? Honey, animals are used to staying alone. Once those lights go out, boom, they're fast asleep. That's not what happened last night. Last night he wasn't in a cage. What? You put Lowell in a cage? That's what you're supposed to do. If Mr. Delaney knew, he'd have a heart attack. I mean, another one. <laughs> it's just not fair. I mean... Here we are, sitting around a table, having dinner all together, while poor Lowell sits all alone in the dark. Allie. In the cold, steel cage, with no one to talk to, as lonely as can be. I don't think we've ever been alone together before. We're not exactly alone, Wooly. Right. More lychees, Lowell? Oh, I wouldn't give him any of that. It'll put him right out. Oh, we wouldn't want that, would we? Animal hospital. Yes, he is. Oh, hold on a minute, please. Wooly, it's for you. It's the hospital. Hmm. Hello? Yes? Oh, my God. All right. All right, I'll be right there. It's Delaney. I've got to go. Is he all right? I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, sorry, fella. You can't come with me. I'm off to the hospital. Well, Lowell, I guess it's you and me. Cheers. Would you stop being so melodramatic? Only look around you. It's what the scene requires. I gotta see Lowell again. Bring him around, Wooly, would you? And bring him soon. He looks so, uh, so old suddenly, you know, lying on that hospital bed. He was always a sport. When we had uh, nothing but ketchup on our collar for food, he'd, he'd gather us young guys up and buy us a steak so we'd have something to go with the ketchup. <laughs> That's what he always used to say to us. Hey, Willie, come on. Don't bury him, yeah? Listen, they made great strides with part patients. I think your friend's got a good chance. Did you actually promise to take Lowell to the hospital? Well, I... I would have done the same thing, honey. People get attached to animals. They bond. There's a bonding. I, myself, am a bonder. <laughs> you know, they've done studies with animals, not orangutans, but it's been proven that pets actually have helped patients recover. I think it would do Mr. Delaney a world of good to see Lowell. Yeah, but I'll never be able to get him past the nurse's station. That's, that's impossible. Maybe not. Julie, be Clem. Tell her to wait for my call. Done. Where are you going? Oh, look at Allie's closet. Allie! Excuse me, but where do oh, you all yes, think uh, you're nurse going? Nurse Hart, I'm Dr. Sam McGuire, and we're <laughs> Mr. Delaney's aged mother. She doesn't have much time. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Delaney, look who we brought to you. <laughs> oh. Oh, Wooly. One of the joys of life is having you as a friend. Ah, get out of here. Come on. Come on. Here we go. That's a ball. Let me look at you. You never could go shopping alone, could you? <laughs> feelings, 
Feelings like I never lost you. Feelings like I'll never have you again in my arms. Feeling, oh, oh, oh feelings, oh, 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 feelings. I hate that. Again in my arms. <laughs> You want to get the kids out? Look, oh, God! Come on, Alan. Lynn, nurse! Come on. Excuse me, Mary. Excuse me, Mary. Oh! Excuse me, Mary. Excuse me, Mary. live at the taping of the Julie Carlisle show with another monkey update. Now, as you know, by listening to me, Dickie Duncan, Lowell the orangutan, who's been missing for the last two days, is tragically, over there, tragically still missing. Now, his partner, Sid Delaney, is resting comfortably at Siouxland Memorial Hospital. It's too bad, though, that Lowell can't be around to see how well Sid is doing, huh? Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Julie Carlisle sings to us and mm -hmm. to Lowell. Well, Julie should be making her entrance any second now, so hey, hang with the D-man while we wait for her to appear, which she is now. Whoops. Sorry. Dickie. You all know Dickie Duncan, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. How are you? Dickie. I'm sorry. Hello again, everybody. Here it comes. It'll be fine. For my next song, I'd like to introduce you to the very wonderful Bob Nevin Orchestra. I'm finished. Oh. Oh. Ready when you are, maestro. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. These vagabond shoes are longing to stray and step sleep to find I'm king of the hill top of the heap my little town blues are melting away I'll make a brand new start of it in old What's going on? Oh, well, some apes climbing the Empire State Building. <laughs> Deja vu. Roll tape, roll tape. Come on. Stay with me close now. This is good stuff. This monkey stuff is good. Get me a nice shot. Keep rolling. Get me a good, tight shot of that monkey. Well, oh, if you don't come down here this second, I'll never speak to you again. I don't believe orangutans respond to guilt. <laughs> Dickie, will you get off my set? No, Jules, this is news. I've been waiting all day for news. This is news. Excuse me, Father. <laughs> Dr. McGuire, will you please come down here and help us? It's okay, big fella. I'm coming. Unfortunately, he's been found to help us. we got a show to put on here. Sam, Sam. Well, you can't get an animal to respond unless it's calmed down. There's only one thing that calms Lowell down. What? Jules. Jules. Oh, no, no, oh, I'm honey. sorry, I couldn't. No, 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 oh, who's it hurting? Let him stay up there. Please. <laughs> oh, 
very well. Stand back. <clears throat> Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. Uh, trying to forget my feelings of love. Feelings. Oh, whoa, whoa, feelings. Oh, whoa, whoa, feel you again in my arms. Oh, isn't that great? Hello, Lowell. Mr. Delaney. Shoot. Ah, the reunion. Man and beast. I, for one, am moved. Now, what are you doing out of the hospital? Well, when I knew Lowell was here, I had to come. But now that I see that he's safe and that somebody else knows the words to feelings, <laughs> I guess I can rest in peace. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, Lowell. It's been a lot of laughs, but it's, it's time to hang him up. Oh, sure, he's out to the actor's home, and we're stuck with a bad bull. Orangutan. Oh, much better. <laughs> Whoa, stop this. There is one other thing. Gotcha! You dumb ape. How many times are you gonna fall for that trick? Oh, come on, let's get out of here. All right, Paul. Oh, Does he know how to work a crowd or what? <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you next week. Good night. Good night, Good night now. <laughs> Now, stay tuned for Perfect Strangers, next.